Let's do some math for fun, and this is about limits in calculus. We are going to find a so that the limit as x approaching infinity, parentheses x plus a over x minus a, and then raised to the x power, this is equal to e, that special number e. And in this case, you know a has to be just a real number, namely it has to be finite, okay? Hmm, so what can we do with this? This form reminds me of something that I know, because I know there is a famous limit that will tell me e as well. We know that the limit as x approaching to infinity and if the inside is 1 plus 1 over x raised to the x power like this. You see that x approaching infinity match and the x power right here also match. It's just the insides, they don't look the same at the moment. Anyways, this also equals to e, right? So that's nice. And hopefully we can make some connection between this and that and that way we can set up some condition and that will help us to figure out the a value. But as I said, the insides are different, so what can we do? Well, you see this is x plus a over x minus a. The good thing is that the degree on the top, this is 1, the degree on the bottom is also 1. We can do some long division because this is just a fraction pretty much. So let's do some long division right here to see what can we do with that. Right here, let me show you guys the long division here. I will put on the top inside, so that's x plus a. I'll put on the uh, denominator outside, x minus a. We know this will go in here one time. 1 times x is x, 1 times negative a is just negative a. And of course we're going to subtract. x minus x is 0. a minus negative a is the same as saying a plus a, which is 2a. And now I'm going to rewrite this part again. So let me write it down here. I will put this down as the limit as x approaching to infinity. For the inside, instead of writing this down, I can put this down as 1. And I'm going to add because the 2a was positive. So we add 2a over the original denominator, which is the x minus a. And this is still raised to the x power like this. And once again, all I did was change the inside by doing some long division. And after this step, you see this looks more than this looks more like this than the original, right? Because now I have the one. So pretty good, huh? But then, hmm, if you look at the famous statement here, this right here is just a variable x. But here we have x minus a. That's no good. What we can do is, wouldn't it be nice if this is just like a variable? And I can just say a variable. Seriously, let me just name this to be a variable. Let's just call that to be t. Because I just want to have a variable down below here so that it will match with this form much better. And the way that we're going to do it is, I will just say let another variable, I will just say t equals to x minus a. And what I would like to do is, I would like to take this limit, I will rewrite everything in terms of t, no more x, okay? So, this right here, let me just draw the arrow, this is going to be the limit. And earlier you see, x is approaching to infinity, but then if you look at the connection of t and x, x minus a is t. When x is infinity, a is finite. Infinity minus finite is still infinity, right? So, instead of saying x is approaching infinity, in fact, t also goes to infinity as well. So that's why I can put down t also goes to infinity. Once again, if x is infinity, you pretty much have infinity minus a. And of course, that's pretty much just infinity. Okay, so I should draw arrow right here. All right, and now let's put down this. One is just a one. 2a is just a 2a, so plus 2a over x minus a is the t that we know. We have set it to b, and now this looks so similar to that, huh? And raised to the x power. As I said, we don't want x. But it's okay, because that's an easy fix. t is equal to x minus a. Let's add a on both sides. That will tell us x is the same as t plus a. This is going to be my new exponent here, t plus a. Cool, huh? 
And now we can work with this much better. And the thing right here is that we have t plus a in the power. In fact, we can break this apart as this to the t power times this to the a power. And let me write it down for you guys. This right here is the limit as t goes to infinity now. The first part is 1 plus 2a over t to the t power times uh, this to that power. So I have to write down the base again. 1 plus 2a over t raised to the a power like this. And here is the technical part. We have a limit of a product, and let me draw a big parenthesis like this. The limit of a product. In fact, it's the same as the product of the limits, under the condition that both of the limits exist, and they do exist. Let me put this down for you guys. So, this is the same as saying we take the limit as t goes to infinity of the first term, which is this, 1 plus 2a over t raised to t power. And then we take the limit as t goes to infinity of this, which is 1 plus 2a over t raised to the a power. Can we figure this out? Sure, let me show you. So, when t is approaching to infinity, just plugging infinity into here, we will get 1 plus 2a over t is infinity, right? And then raised to the a power, like this. And keep in mind, a is finite. So, right here you see 1 plus 2a over infinity. 2a over infinity is just 0. So, in the parentheses, we have 1 to the a power. And 1 to any power as long as this number is finite. This is just 1. So we know this right here is just 1. huh? And this is just the limit as t goes to infinity. And let me write this down. 1 plus 2a over t to the t's power. And we multiply by 1 from here. And now this is what we have. And let me just write it one slightly closer to this so that it looks better. 1 times this is just that, right? And what do we want this to be? We want this to be e, right? So therefore, I want to set this to be e. And now let's take a look of this carefully. Let's take a look of this carefully. Take a look of this and compare with something that we know. All right, you want this to be e? Sure, I give you the e right here. And 1 times this, the 1 doesn't really matter, so you can ignore that. t is approaching infinity. It's the same as saying x is approaching infinity. The letter doesn't matter. You can use theta, you can use uh, y, up to you. The 1 is the same. This t, that t, this x, that x. Good. On the top here, we have 2a. Right here, we have 1. That's the only difference, because this x that t is the same, right? So what's the condition? So if you connect these two boxes together, you must have, let me just put this down right here perhaps, we must have the 1 to be the same as 2a. So let me put this down right here. I'll do this in blue. We must have 2a is equal to 1. Therefore, a has to be one half. This is it. Hopefully, you guys like this question as much as I do. 